Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the SNHU Esports Arena, where we are going to be watching some Smash. Indeed we are, and I'm always excited to be there for that, as I hope you all are, too. Our Smash games have consistently been absolutely incredible to watch. Some great play from every team that we've played up against so far, and this night is shaping up to be yet another one, as we are going up against uh, another... Uh, Another local college in New England College. Yeah. Uh, it, these past Smash games have been absolutely amazing. You know, last semester, we had a bit of problems, especially with technology, with games cutting out and stuff like that. This semester, we actually have a new system to be able to capture games and to allow for us to not lag out, hopefully, uh, which should be great. Uh, and I think this game is going to be an absolute banger. You know, I think all of the esports have had a better season. I think that they've fought better opponents and the games have been a lot closer. The metas in a lot of the games like League of Legends, Valorant, and even in like Smash for some example, even though it doesn't necessarily have, it kind of has a stable meta. Mm. But in general, a lot of the esports have been a lot better uh, this season. So I'm very excited to watch. Yeah, yeah. Smash is always exciting, particularly, you know, around here, we just had... I say we just had. It's been a little bit. We had our most successful GSG ever. Here, yep. That, um, there were so many people there. It was. It's so huge to see see some of the local competition coming out, and you know, obviously, we got to see most, if not all, of the of the new players. Uh, yeah, I think show up. I think almost all of them were there. It was really big. Uh, <laughs> GSG has been getting bigger and bigger, and hopefully, that will continue in the future. And I'm just very excited to see how it goes. Well, if uh, if GSG was any indication, the uh, the scene is growing. The scene is yeah. growing, and that means that it is going to trickle down into our collegiate games. Yeah, uh, I, lo I love collegiate games. Collegiate games are, are perfect because they're not at super high level where you have, like, annoying metas and people are, like, trying for, like, $20,000 yeah. to, like, get this, like, crazy... Like, play, it's very chill, and you get to see a lot more character diversity. Yeah, it's and, not all Steve Mirrors. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, it's great, because you get to see a lot of characters that you normally wouldn't see. Like, we've seen a Little Max, we've seen a lot of different characters. Didn't, didn't we see a, a Little Mac mirror at one point? Yeah, we did. I think that was last <laughs> semester. I believe I commentated that. That game was crazy. You, you never see that yeah. outside, outside of Collegiate. And, never. And, you know, I'm, I might be a, a little biased. <laughs> you know, repping the repping the squad here, but I, I do agree. I think collegiate is is one of those very unique scenes that provides for a certain level of competition that you can't find anywhere else, uh, regardless of what esports esport you're looking at. Yeah, I, I think it, I think it's the case for most things in general. It's like the meta is not so hard set in these type of games, you know, where you have to purposefully play boring uh to the point of like trying to get like twenty thousand dollars so watching these games are so much more fun because everyone's just enjoying themselves and especially with our smash team just being they're so close like we see every single game they pop off with each other like they they're like a tight-knit family dude if i could if i could have half as much fun playing smash as as any of of the people on the team, I, I would be a much happier man. Let me tell you what. Yeah, the people on the team are so close, and in general, the Smash scene is just so tight knit. Uh, it's it's extremely fun to be around and to watch. Smash has been a scene that has just kind of grown from the ground up. Like, there's been no support from Nintendo, right? Yeah, they haven't sponsored any tournaments, so the scene was built by the players, not by any big corporation funneling money into it. So that's why I think it's so much tighter than a lot of other esports is because you have this type of community, like, sentiment build up. Oh, looks like we're going to get into game right now. Bowser versus Marth. Insignia is up first. Insignia, that Bowser always been real scary, and Bowser's such a big heavy hitter. The, the Bowser Bomb immediately comes out after the forward air. 50% already. Looks like right now, the game plan probably is just for Marth to try to outspace Bowser as much as possible. But the hard thing is, is that Marth can do a combo and Bowser can hit you once and make up that damage. And especially now that Marth is behind, it's going to be so hard for Marth to catch up. Yeah, and, and people don't recognize just how fast ba some of Bowser's moves are. Uh, a lot of a lot of options he has are, are just way faster than they should be, considering he hits like a, a runaway freight train that kills. Oh my god, that, 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 was, that was amazing play by Insignia right there. Bowser has like a top 20 air spear, like ground speed or something like that. 
it's it's kind of crazy. Bowser is not a, a weak character by any means. Like you see in high level play, people like Leon take Bowser to their full extent, actually winning a couple majors and doing really well uh, with the character. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're seeing Scion here just play, play a little little scared, a little far away, try to get this spacing, but that's how you have to play into a Bowser, especially like Insignia, that dropkick coming dangerously close. That was scary right there. Scion stared, stared death in the eyes. Oh, got out of it by footstooling right there. Gets the down air off right now. Bowser's looking for an edge guard right now, but Martha will recover and hit him with the tip of that sword. Right now, Marsh is trying to gain center stage again and try to bait out any Bowser's option, but the grab coming out for a jump read. Very good on Bowser's side, and the up tilt will kill perfectly placed right there. You know, I, I, I'm going to be honest, I didn't think that was going to kill. Uh, but now Insignia is up two stocks. I don't know how that happened. Bowser just hits hard. Th those grabs yeah. are coming in so clutch and just being able to allow Insignia to just rush in, get the pressure going, and then have Scion at a... At a real disadvantage state this entire game. And the thing for Marth as well is that a lot of their combos are so character dependent. That was a great read on that spot dodge right there, charging it. Can he get the edge guard? Just barely doesn't right there. Right now, like, Marth's combos are so, like, character specific that if they haven't played against a Bowser a lot, this is going to be really hard to get off any amount of damage. But the side B coming out from Bowser will put Marth off stage, are able to recover the ledge, but... Oh, Bowser barely jumps out of that shield break right there. Yeah, but both players have very, very hyper sense. Yeah, you're, you know, if you're Scion, you're looking to not get three stocked here. If you're Insignia, you're looking to make that happen. But at 153, and it's the hard. The hard thing about Marth is that he can't really kill in these situations. He has to get some type of tipper combo to really do a lot or an edge guard. That up tilt almost killing, probably in range about now to kill for Bowser. Uh, Marth has to play this extremely safe, try to get out even one stock, but the reverse up tilt just barely doesn't kill right there. Great DI. Great DI from Scion. Is able to get back, dodges the down tilt, tries to go in the center, but looks like a miss input from Insignia, and the up smash comes out taking one stock at least. That's a great punish, and get, gets Amazing punched directly in the chest for it. Marth got his, his chest caved in, but took a stock with him. Yeah, Insignia is one of our best players. They're, I believe, like top five in the state. So Insignia is a absolute terrifying match to go against. And especially with Bowser as a character being so bulky and putting out so much damage, it's hard when you don't know the matchup against the character. And in Mars' case, they just couldn't find kill options. Yeah, Bowser is Bowser's scary because he's strong, he's fast, he has many options. He can play off stage because his aerials are so good. Mm -hmm. He's got the fire for ledge guarding. Yeah, it, what it's, doesn't he have? You know, Bowser biggest weakness is their size, and if you don't know how to combo with big body characters, then it's going to be really hard to rack up the damage necessary to play against them. And especially when you can't get a lot of those openings because of how good Insignia is at spacing and also being aware of option coverage. It's going to be so hard to play against Insignia. Yeah, and I mean, those those side Bs from Insignia were coming in so huge. Yep. Every time Scion was able to get in uh, into range to try and get a big tipper off, the Insignia just hit, hit the side B and said, get off yeah. me. Side B is really hard because you really want to shield against Bowser because, you know, they have so much end lag on their moves that you can just bait out an aerial and shield it. But if Bowser goes in with a grab... It's it's a 50-50, really. So either they go in with a fair or they go in with a grab, and you just have to predict it correct. Yeah, I mean, Scion was kind of lucky that uh, Insignia was only only able to hit the platform with that, I believe, once, and yep. when he did, it killed. I, I think if if uh, Scion is able to... Uh, or Scion gets hit on that platform there... Hi, Mike. <laughs> I, I've just been informed that if Insignia uh, 12 stock this team tonight that he would have gotten a free dinner from the coach so let it be known to the folks at home there were stakes okay significant stakes. okay i i don't know if that went through but uh my mike our, our lovely little little bird from prod just told <laughs> us that if insignia managed to 12 stock this team uh head coach duffy was, was gonna give him a free meal so uh I would have gone all out there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I am, I am the biggest food fan. At, I am, I'm the number one food enjoyer. As, as I was saying, I, I think, uh, I think if Insignia was able to hit that side B on the platform on that last stock, yeah, that, that twelve stock would have they, been, they would have been there. Been able to. That, the, the meal would have still been, been up there, but. 
Yeah, sadly, the Marth up smash coming out right yeah. at the perfect time. It's so hard for Marth to kill, though, in those situations without a smash attack just because they're tippers, you know? Marth has technically, theoretically, more damage output, but it's so hard to hit those tippers that it's just it's just kind of a better decision to pick Lucina. Some yeah. of the things with Marth are interesting, like forward air technically sends at a different angle because it hits for less, so you're able to put people in tech situations. Um, but other than that, there's really not a lot that Marth can do. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be hard unless you can get those combos out on a big body character like Bowser. Yeah, and, and when you're in disadvantage state for, for practically the entire game, just getting rushed down over and over and over again, you don't really have the opportunity to build those combos yeah. and, and get anything going. Luckily, uh, like we said, Sion was able to take a stock just from a, uh, you know, a great punish getting that up smash through but that could have been a lot worse yeah a, for for a at least they got a stock that's yeah. the big thing you know insignia is the anchor of the team so getting one stock away from the anchor and really pushing forward with the hardest player on the team is good so they might be able to make up some ground a bit later but here's the thing even if you get insignia out of the way you still have heavy hitters heavy hitters uh Still got heavy hitters like Quackers who just walked through the camera, as you just saw. Good save, good save, good yeah. save, good save. But yeah, we got Quackers, we got we got Steven. Heck, any anybody anybody within our our, our org for for Smash could could you know yeah, put up the gloves with the best of them. They're all so good. Quackers playing Pokemon Trainer, having the versatility. Steven now ranked. Uh, in New Hampshire. Is ranked now? Yeah. Steven got ranked, I believe, at the start of the season-ish. Um, and they've just been pulling out some amazing combos. Like last time, I, or was it in GSG? I forget if we saw them do like some crazy forward air spikes. I think it I think it was GSG, but... Yeah, it was... It, Steven's been dude, so Dude did it like two games in a row, too. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Amazingly consistent players on SNHU. So. Yeah. Even if you get Insignia out of the way, it's still so hard. Yeah, I mean, we, we've, for a long time, had a very, very solid Smash roster. Uh, and, and it's shown in our results, not just this semester, but uh, in previous semesters and, and hopefully in future semesters as well. Yeah. Uh, we, have, we have a great, great uh, organization here in total, and I think that lends to the to the uh, quality of talent that we get sorry there's a it sounds as though a stampede of rhinos is coming from uh from upstairs yeah. but uh it's just the overwatch team so yeah the overwatch team uh overwatch yeah yeah uh, whoa, 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 whoa. you wouldn't know anything about that would you no 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 absolutely no. not yeah What's an Overwatch? Uh, yeah, what what is that? Where I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a Smash Bros commentator. I don't I don't know what a, what an Overwatch is. Yeah, uh, is well, that a character in Smash? Ah, uh, I don't think so. Uh, Maybe could po could possibly be. What a shame. But maybe in Fire Pass Three. Yeah, it, it's gonna be hard though to really see what they can do about Insignia because they have to pick someone that is good into Bowser, which isn't necessarily a lot. Uh, and then also you have to pick someone that can combo them and edge guard them well, and then also be versatile enough to fight against either Mario or Pokemon trainer. Yeah. It's such a tall order to try and go in after that, such a dominant performance too. You got, you got to think the pressure's on. It's only game one. So, you know, no matter what for either team, there's always time to either fumble the bag or run it back. Yep. Uh, but you're, you're never thinking about that as a player. You're always thinking about the here and the now. Uh, mm -hmm. all, all that matters is this stock, this this game, this, you know, whatever. So even though, yeah, sure, you have the time to, you know, feel things out, maybe run it back, whatever, you don't want to be in a position to run it back at all. Yeah, that's the, that's the big thing because in, at least like in qualifiers, or not qualifiers, in the like main tournament bracket, uh, you usually see a lot of either O2s or 2Os, uh, but once you get into like semifinals of the tur collegiate tournament, you start seeing a lot of closer games, and even some runbacks as well. Um, but usually, usually these early games are showing off what the best teams can do and really figuring out who is the dominant player going into the uh, top, top four, top eight. 
We got the Donkey Kong coming in. Coming in. DK. Two, two big bodies. Gonna, this is going to be a fun one. I think that probably they have good combos against each other. They both kill early. I think Bowser's probably a little bit better. I think, yeah, Bowser Bomb, especially on a stage like Battlefield, is going to be so disastrous. But Donkey Kong does have down air as well, and they do have a lot of combos. So, yeah, you're right. That Bowser Bomb's so scary. Did I get killed already? Amazing by Insignia to do that down smash right there. Their shield is really low, though. Uh, still at half. But Insignia is doing a great job at really spacing around DK's moves. DK's moves hit hard, but there aren't really a lot of combos except for a lot of up airs. Well, yeah. Bowser, Bowser just hits harder and is faster. Yeah, but at the same time, DK has so many options and so much super armor. That fire is kind of a pain in the neck, but... Uh, like half of Donkey Kong's kit yeah, has super armor on it, Dash. but that that is not one of them. The the big trade does not uh, go in the Donkey Kong's favor, and now Insignia is up two stocks. Sorry, one stock. Oh my oh, god! Geez. Amazing combo coming out from Insignia right there. Oh, oh my god! The forward smash, the drop kick. That felt like it hit from that, like across half the stage. That was amazing. What was that? Insignia saw that Donkey Kong was just <laughs> spamming out of hit stun over and over and over again, just side throw to forward smash and end it right there. Amazing. Did, did we get like a stopwatch on that one? <laughs> yeah, that was like 30 seconds maybe. That was that was like a blazing fast. Game. Yeah, Insignia is really mean, running through right now. Yeah. Yeah, maybe maybe they're still hoping they can get a free meal if they make it all the way through. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know. Duffy is, is focused on the game right now, but... I don't know if there if there's a meal in Insignia's future. This, 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 this game might end pretty quick. Yeah, it... it Amazing play by Insignia right there. It's just, as mentioned before, difficult to do anything against Bowser. Bowser's forward smash hits for so much harder than Donkey Kong's does. Like, Donkey Kong has to get a lot of stuff. Even though Donkey Kong has better edge guards because they have three spikes, I think, more out of any other character in the game. Yeah. Uh, but Bowser's just way more consistent character. You always see more results from Bowser's in general. It's just that, like, New England was only able to... Get Insignia off stage, I believe, once, maybe twice. So yeah. you can't really take advantage of those of those um, those great aerials that Donkey Kong has. And Donkey when, Kong has more hit stun, I think, on like all their moves. Yeah. When, well, the thing is, too, when they were able to take advantage of those aerials, it was in a trade that resulted in them losing a stock. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's just hard for Donkey Kong in that matchup. But I just heard it's maybe a Lucario next. That that is that is what I heard from a, a little bird shouting I across the room. I think that Lucario is a very volatile character, and I think that Lucario is extremely bad. Oh, I think that like most top tier Lucario mains in Smash Four, which Lucario is really good in Smash Four, uh, drop the character in Ultimate. Really? So if they, if the top level players, people who are beating like Zero, the most dominant player in Smash Four consistently with Lucario drop the character in Ultimate, I think it's a problem. I think that this yeah. character has definitely been hit by the system mechanic changes and also just the general nerf to Aura. I think that it's hard to really recommend the character, especially because their only combo is like fair, fair, up air, or like maybe fair, fair, fair. Uh, you don't got a lot. And with Bowser killing so early... It's like Lucario could be good against like a Pikachu that doesn't know like zero to deaths, but like versus someone that can kill like Bowser, you're not going to get to a percent where Aura does anything. Yeah, I mean, you know, you have to think though that if they're, if they're bringing this out, there, there's got to be some confidence in yeah. Lucario, right? I, you, you know, as we've mentioned, it's just a hard matchup. It's yeah, just it's, insanely difficult. Sure, hard matchup. We take those any day, you know. But um, as you've said, collegiate is is such an interesting scene because those hard matchups can go in anybody's favor. Yeah, that that's a good part about collegiate as well, and especially seeing a Lucario. I haven't seen a Lucario in a while. In a while. However, Lucario players are really good at their characters, so we might see something come out. Yeah, it is a Lucario. Uh, one thing that I could see is them using a lot of, like, a ball and wave bouncing. Oh, this is not necessarily a good stage. I I would be a bit scared if I was, if I was Lucario. Especially on a stage like this, it's going to be difficult. Yeah, I mean, at, at least you're not going to get 
like sent uh, flying with the Bowser bomb through a uh, top platform, but yeah, this is just really scary. Insignia has so much room to work right now. Yeah, it's so difficult to do anything in these situations when Bowser just has such a fast move speed and can just down smash them at, what was that, 68? That's crazy. What? Oh my what? god, two up smashes in a row? What? When did when did he get to 66? When when did that Lucario get to 66.6 percent? That back air, uh, Lucario. So like, here's the thing as well. Aura back in Smash Four would be doing stuff right now, but like, it's not even at max. I don't. E I think it's might maybe at like half Bowser Bomb coming out though. Barely Ooh. doesn't kill. Good DI right there, but the four the four tilt will just come out and kill. Yeah, great, yeah. great punish. You have to go to ledge there. It's so difficult to like get on stage, especially with how much end lag Lucario has. Nair coming out though into an up tilt. Amazing combo by Insignia right there in the back air to call that out perfectly. Tries to go up, but the down smash just covers both angles. It's gonna be so hard for Lucario to do anything. Another down smash perfectly placed right there. Reading Lucario again on the third recovery. I mean, Insignia had the download. That, that's what that came down to. Yeah. I mean, I, everything that Lucario tried to do, uh, Insignia was two, three steps yeah. ahead. I mean, I, 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 I'm flabbergasted. This, yeah. is, this is a speed run. Yeah, I, it's just so hard of a matchup because, uh, like, Aura doesn't get to like max until like. 140, I think, or 120. Yeah, I'm not it's sure. It's some ridiculously but high percent. It's so high, and you're not going to get to that point as Bowser. Like, they killed Lucario. What was that? 68 with a down smash at ledge? Yeah. That was insane. No, and that I, was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. I, I don't think that was right DI because I don't think I saw a kill spark, but still, like, even then, most other characters would not kill by that point. Yeah. I, I think I saw a kill spark. Lucario's I'm fairly just, sure. Lucario is just better into matchups where it's a care, it's a combo character that can't kill, or they need a really hard kill confirm. Like it, it's so hard for Lucario to do a lot in those situations uh, that I just I don't I don't see Lucario winning that. Yeah, I mean I feel bad because I, I was like trying to gas gas up a Lucario pick and just be like yeah. oh well they they got they gotta have some confidence in it, but uh, you know so sometimes there there's a caster curse and sometimes. Sometimes it comes true, I, yeah. I, I suppose. Uh, I, I try my best to sort of gas up both sides, but sometimes that, games just end in, that in 30, like a, 45 seconds. That matchup's like a 90-10. That matchup is like, for those who don't know how matchup works, it's like you got like 90-10, 20-80, 70-30, and that's like the win rate in 10 games. I just, I, that's like, I mean, that's, that's, that's one of the worst matchups in the game. Yeah. I don't know anything worse than that. Maybe like Roy Kazuya. That's about it. That's like, uh, yeah, it's just so hard to do anything right there. And Insignia played amazing. Just reading out all three of those uh, recoveries, getting down smashes on all of them. I think maybe four, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> Every single time that Lucario tried to get back to the stage, the 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 seasick was flicked down every yep. time every without time. fail. And it, and it looked like they had just so much end lag on that recovery. Like I think even Falco's up B has less end lag there. Uh, it's just it's you gotta go to ledge. You gotta go to ledge in those situations. But how do you get off ledge? You got Bowser up tilt to carry to yeah. cover like. All of it. You got Bowser back air to cover. Like it's just how do you like? It's so hard to do stuff there. Yeah, it's. I I don't know. I, I don't have the answer. That that's why yeah. I'm behind the desk. I don't have the answer to that. But uh, New England College, they have to come up with an answer. Yeah, they're gonna they, have to come up with an answer soon. And they, they don't. They even need have to come up with an answer about four or five stocks ago they don't so like here's the thing as well like when you're losing you could be like oh this is like a scouting opportunity like we're just seeing what their team has to offer feeling out the players but you're only playing one guy you don't even know the rest of SNA's yeah. team at this point yeah i mean if you're in this dark pit you just have to uh, go maybe. beast mode dark pit i think has a decent matchup i'm not 100 percent sure i think so Nair will probably do a lot right there, and Tech Chase with down air might do a lot, as we see in DSD with like players like Fall. Pit isn't a character to laugh at. Pit's a really good character. But also Insignia has some insane experience versus Pits because there are a lot of Pits in the region. Yeah, that that's always one of those weird things where uh, those regional picks end up giving uh, giving our players a, a certain distinct advantage in, in certain matchups just because they've played against them so much. 
that, yeah. ba that backer kills. Yeah. <laughs> It Bowser's a character. I'm, I'm gonna I stop think. speaking and sing, and sing uh, is speaking for himself right now. There, there is nothing that I could say that could s say more than than whatever in the world that was. Yeah, Insignia is just going crazy right now. Uh, that experience against Fall, as we see in GSG, it's just paying off so well. Like having pits in the region. Oh my God! Tried to go for an insane roll read right there. But the side B will actually grab Pit. Doesn't it's quite just, kill. It's just but... so hard to do anything. Yeah. That and flashed. I, yeah. It's, it's as if everything is is stacked in Insignia's favor right now. The arrow clashes. Uh, I mean, the back air kills from Wed. What, what is gonna go go like wrong for Insignia here? I think the hits is nothing. It's gonna be so hard for Pit to really come back from this. Insignia is at low, so if they go for, oh, side B. I mean, they were both just kind of standing there. That was a that was a shootout, and I mean, Insignia secures the kill with a side B on platform. And, and the one thing that's different about crew battles, which I will say, if you guys are wondering why he doesn't Bowser Bomb off stage, which is the side B as we're seeing right now, it's because it takes stock first, so Insignia can't just Bowser Bomb, oh my God. That forward smash was so close. I mean, th this is New England College's last stock for this game. I and it, it's it's Side getting B. slammed into oblivion. Side B's got to be stale, so stale <laughs> at this point. It's Side oh, B's got to oh. be like half. Absolutely. Half I, I I think it's Sydney is just like seeing how how much mileage you can get out of that move at this point. Yeah. And I mean the. The F tilts just coming in, guarding the ledge. The that back air, yeah. And a swift, not not 12 stock, 11 stock. You know, maybe maybe Insignia was just angry about yeah. losing the opportunity for uh, whatever whatever restaurant Duffy was planning on treating him to. Yeah, I think so. I think Insignia is taking a little bit of rage out there. I wonder if Duffy would still treat him though, but it depends. Depends on how Duffy's feeling. I'm looking over in that direction, and it's it's pure focus, pure from, focus. from Duffy. Heart, heart of like heart of steel. The 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 blood just ice in the veins. Yeah. <laughs> I I don't think I've ever seen Duffy now, in a game scenario I, like. I don't know how. If they play Insignia again, I don't know how New England College is going to deal with this. I mean, they, they have to use what they saw there. They have they, to use what they saw there and adapt, but I don't know how. The best player against Insignia there was probably the Marth, but Insignia might not even be playing. Like, we might put in, like, Steven. We could put in, like, Quackers. We could, it's Fontine or Swanky. We could put in anyone. Yeah. Like, I mean, there, there's so many <laughs> options. Uh and and like you said, New England College couldn't scout a thing. They they no. could scout Insignia Bowser good. Yeah, Insignia Bowser Bowser good Bowser hit hard. Yeah, like ooga, ooga. <laughs> lost lost stock at sixty percent. What do? Yeah. I, I, there, there's no information gained from that. Like whoops, I I lost twelve stocks in in fifteen minutes. Yeah, uh, I, you can't get any information from that. I would be so crushed if I was New England College though. Yeah, that, that must be a mental block. I think they could come back from it if they get Insignia out of the way. Oh, but that's absolutely. just a major problem. Absolutely. I think uh, that's a funny thing about momentum. It, yeah. it, it can just turn on a dime. I, I legitimately think that if if in this next game, New England College is able to take a little bit of ground and, and just get the ball rolling down the hill a little bit, they'll be able to keep like spiraling and snowballing because these players... You know, you, we've we've seen little little flashes, little specks of, of brilliance uh, coming from from what they've been doing, but it just hasn't materialized into anything solid. Yeah, no, not at all. And it's also hard with their character choices. There, I don't think there was a character there that I would call above like mid tier. It's just it's really difficult with those character options versus Bowser. Like, I think you have a bad matchup and not in like every character maybe yeah. there's like some marth tech that like you could get like crazy tipper combo <laughs> like who knows but yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be really hard
I mean, the question is like, do, does New England College have something in their back pocket that they that they haven't shown us so thus far that can you know, they do. break break the wall down and, and sort of start the start the storm to to keep this keep this winnable. Yeah, uh, that's that's going to be the hope. It looks like we're not going to be putting in insignia though. It looks like we might be putting in font diner swanky. And everyone at New England College just breathed a sigh of relief. Yeah. The, we, on, the onslaught yeah. for the moment is over. We or, still have insignia in the back though. That, yeah, that must be scary. You're gonna have to hope that you save all of your stocks. Yeah, no, in, insignia yeah. is the is the mad super villain uh, reigning over this lobby right now, and New England College yeah. has to hope to to bring it back there to sort of face the. Uh, the the redemption arc, so mm -hmm. to speak, and even then, if they if they do, it it's still a tied game. Yeah, this is this is a a tough a, a tough mountain to climb. Mm -hmm. I, I've been in these scenarios as a player, and and these are these are the moments that you dread. I mean, yeah, a hundred percent. This is this is regular season, so you know it's not as bad as this exact scenario in a in the middle of a playoff yeah. run, because um, that that's really when it just gets soul crushing. In, in playoffs, that that would be crushing. That yeah. would be awful. Yeah, but even even in regular season, you know, yeah, it must all, feel bad. All of these teams are are looking to get as many wins as possible. Because, you know, of course, nobody wants to go in and lose, especially when, you know, chances at playoffs are on the line. Mm -hmm. uh, your standing will directly affect your, your seating and who you are forced to play against come playoffs. And there are some very, very good teams in the area. Yeah. Like, New England is a hub for Smash Bros. Like, it's like New England... SoCal and like Tri-State, those are the main areas, and Tri-State players even come up here sometimes. Yeah, so it's it's definitely scary. There's a lot of talent in this area. There's yeah. so many top players, just even in Massachusetts. It's which it's, is so close. It's really interesting because I feel like New England is is one of those reason regions that uh, doesn't get much attention in a lot of esports just in general. Yeah, uh, but it's kind of a it's kind of a sleeper hub for a lot of very very strong players and very very strong collegiate teams. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe Fisher is in the area, obviously. So the New Hampshire University, we have two very strong teams, some very good tournaments. But uh, you know, not to not to not to plug the plug the brand or anything. Uh, I'm just gonna conspicuously move so you can see my Snoo Esports twi uh, t shirt. But uh, you know, yeah. it, it's a it's a very very solid region. We we've seen players. Uh, at GSG from uh, areas like uh, Vermont, have there have there been any people from Maine? Yeah, Warpool's from Maine. He comes to GSG every once in a while. Yeah, I mean it, it's such a it's such a strong region, and every single player wants to secure a a higher spot in seedings for playoffs because yeah, it's it's gonna be it's just so like New England's just so stacked. New England six. It's, it's crazy, yeah. But speaking of speaking of sick, we got a we got a Min Min coming in, buddy. Min Min versus Sonic, from what I heard. Yeah, Sonic. Sonic. Uh, I less less sick, but I think that's gonna be difficult for Min Min. I'm gonna be honest. Sonic yeah. has the ability to get around those arms really well, so Swanky's gonna have to keep one of the arms not out and uh, hopefully. Hopefully stop Sonic's approach, which yeah. is just the major thing. Sonic can get in and out of these arms so easily. Yeah, it, it's going to be so tough to even find anything, but Font Diner Swanky has shown repeatedly in the past that they are, like, up to the task at the same time, though. Sonic is just such an oppressive character. We, we've we seen it. We're seeing it right now. Mm -hmm. uh, Junbeans is, is getting a lot of damage for, for basically free under no threat of danger in these forward airs are huge and i didn't expect that to kill it's so hard though because i don't even think min min could have recovered in that situation maybe if they had a jump sure but it's so hard for min min to get away from sonic in this like it, this is the perfect character for like to play against min min yeah i i, I don't know if it's a, a stroke of luck or some scouting or a combination of the two but this was really the pick that uh, New England College needed to try and run this back and uh, keep themselves in this series. At the same time, though, Font Diner Swanky is starting to look like uh, they're stabilizing a little bit. 
Yeah, stabilizing a little bit, but it's still so hard because Min Min's main thing is that they have good edge guards, not good kills. So when you can edge guard Sonic's recovery, but I may stand corrected right there, a insanely well placed up smash. Yeah. Big caster curse coming out from from Joe Miller. But uh in the meantime, Fontaine or Swanky has a lot of ground to make up. Yeah, it's going to be difficult, especially when you're at this percent versus Sonic. And there's just no way to recover from being that far out. Yeah, it's so tough. I mean, you're able to take the stock. You know, this is not lost for lost or won for any given player right now, but there is a distinct advantage oh, that's, for Junbeans on Sonic. That makes this matchup so much worse. That ball clashes with arm. That's... That's that's awful for Min Min. Yeah, I mean, what do you do? What do you do? You're, the Sonic it's, is just able to go in and wreak havoc and then leave like nothing happened. Yeah. It, it's, it's pure chaos. It's like a bull running through a china shop. And no opportunity to ledge guard that. That's really unfortunate for Swanky there. Just looking for something to grab coming out but doesn't hit. Just nothing's hitting for Swanky. Meanwhile, Junbeans is just stacking up this percent on platform. Sonic is just right so now. slippery. It's so hard to do anything. But a spot dodge Nair keeps coming out over and over and over again from Swanky. But the meatball might hit there. Might be able to kill Sonic in some fashion soon. Yeah, you're, you're you know if you're oh. if you're Swanky, you're, you're just happy like if you that take this stock. Was insane right there. <laughs> Goes for some sort of runoff. Uh, weird stuff right there. Didn't really look like it worked out, but Sonic is at a percent where maybe you're able to kill. Meatball coming out at any other point on the stage, that would have killed. Absolutely. You're just looking for one more stock if you're swanky. That's all you need to, to feel uh, a, a there, sense of success, and there it is. There it is. You know um, what? Like, amazing for swanky to even have gotten that in such an awful matchup. And yeah. this seems terrible. Yeah, and I mean, Swanky made the best of it. it it's not a good matchup. I, I am not good at this game, and I can tell you right now, this is a horrid matchup. But at the same time, Swanky might be feeling himself a little bit. Got to play very careful to not get hit with a, a kill move like a smash attack or anything to really send you off it, stage too aggressively. But It seems like, oh, mm. that is unfortunate. <laughs> forward smash coming out. And Sonic's forward smash, by the way, is really strong for no reason. That move has an insane hitbox and is so strong, but that's really what New England College needed. Yeah, absolutely. Um you're a little upset that you you lose two stocks there, but getting getting three stocks, getting a, getting, getting a player down for SNHU is, is that that could be a momentum turner. Yeah, especially, getting anything there is what you need. You especially need that, especially with a character like Sonic. I feel like Sonic is one of those characters that can just kind of cheese out stocks and live way longer than he should. Yeah, just kind of squeeze out every bit of value you can uh, from from uh, a stock and just. Sonic is also extremely good online as well because online has like a little bit of frame latency and that makes it so a lot of Sonic's moves are quote unquote unreactable. Like humans can only react within five milliseconds, I think. And I think it's a like some of Sonic's moves come out quicker than that. Like I think homing attack does. And then also the 50-50 of what Sonic is going to roll up ball or roll up ball and then jump out of ball. Yeah. I think is is also really hard to play against. Sonic just has so many options. We yeah. saw it there. there, there. <laughs> and into, into someone like Min Min where... Min Min's entire point is like keeping you out and Sonic just having so much speed to get in. It seems like such an awful place for Min Min to be in. Like the best characters versus Min Min are those characters that it isn't hard for them to get in and they have so much speed that they can just avoid Min Min's arms. Absolutely. Uh, and uh, if there's any character that has speed, believe it or not, it is Sonic. It's Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, Sonic is <laughs> Sonic is crazy. Sonic is crazy. Sonic's such a good character. Like there are, there are also top Sonic players as well around the world, like Ken, for example, who are just so so proficient with the character. Uh, yeah. It's it's very good for New England College because they had such a hard time versus Insignia. Yeah, you you just gotta like chip away and and try and get as much as you can. I I see I see Quackers going into the going into the setup. 
I think that that's good. You you, could, you couldn't see it because he, he didn't walk in front of the camera this time, as he is known I to do. I think that Pokemon but, Trainer probably has a better matchup into Sonic than, yeah. than like, Mario, probably. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, po- Pokemon Trainer is, is, is three whole characters. Uh, that versatility is, is sort of yeah. something that you might look for in, in a it's, matchup like this. And even, like, the worst character, Charizard, right, is probably one of the better heavy zoners in the game because of tail like doing back yeah. airs and forward tilts are so good up smash out of shield is an amazing coverage option they have three jumps they can get back and they have flare blitz like all of the characters within this one character are just so powerful yeah there <laughs> Has Crus like bribed you to say that Squirtle was the best character in the game yeah, again? Or, Cr- uh... Cr- Crus keeps bribing me to say Squirtle's the best character. I don't agree with that, by the way, but <laughs> I do think Squirtle's quite good on their own if they were to be given an actual down B and their side B were to be adjusted. Oh, absolutely. It's just so fast, so many options. The aerials are really good. Um, great ledge guarding potential. <sighs> So many options, but at the same time, June Bean I going absolutely crazy right now. Oh my god, that was an amazing switch right there. Trying to get anything onto Sonic, but it's so hard when the character is so unreactable on Wi-Fi. Like, this is... It doesn't necessarily seem like it's the usual Quackers in this matchup right now. Sonic is just uh, so oppressive. Usually it's the opposite, where Quackers is the one to do all of this crazy type of stuff. But Sonic is just so fast. Quacker's already having a crazy percent difference right now coming out. Yeah, I feel like Sonic is one of those characters that can really dictate the pace of a game, and we're seeing it here. Quacker's, yeah. as you said, usually a very uh, aggressive, uh, very, very oppressive player. But j- there's not much you can do with that. that and that forward smash. Yeah, that's so difficult for SNHU right there. As you said, strong, fast, huge hitbox. And not much you can do in that situation, yeah. other than, you know, don't get hit, lol. <laughs> Just looking, Quacker's looking for anything. Racking that percent up right now. The Ivysaur. Oh, that was oh, so God, close. Huge. That second back air not hitting was so sad right there. It yeah. looks like Quackers is feeling a lot more comfortable on Ivysaur, though. Really laying down that pressure like we normally see. Uh, pulling out the Charizard, waiting for some sort of shield punish, maybe for an up smash. Tail's also an insane ability. It seems to, like Sonic's a bit uncomfortable with facing this Charizard. Absolutely, you have to Dash be tag. so careful. Especially now at 124, that fire is so huge. Such a such a big Great asset for Charizard. Tail right there. Catches the jump. Oh my god, which just barely... Oh, oh. it didn't look like they had an up e. They... They just air dodged, and that's unfortunate. That was either a buffer or they didn't have an up B. I think they probably they had up B there. I think. Yes, yeah, I think they hit ledge. I think they were just buffering the air dodge, and it it yeah, came out too late or something. That's unfortunate. I mean, great value from that Sonic though. Yeah, I, I, amazing value for New England College, and this is really what they needed: some type of momentum shift. Absolutely, Smash uh, Smash crew battles particularly are, are so momentum based, and yep. whoever's able to sort of get that early early first blood um, is really able to sort of dictate the pace of the entire um, you know game, not not just one match. Um, yeah, that that's like that's such the scary thing about crew battles. But here's the thing as well that is in SNHU's favor is that Quackers is the one that out that is out right now, and Pokemon Trainer doesn't have a lot of bad matchups. Yeah, Pokemon Trainer is just a very good character. Who yeah. who, who would have guessed? Three characters, all of them, I believe, at least like decent. Uh, if only Leffen still played this game, but it's, alas, it's pretty good. Alas, who who would have guessed? Yeah. Three characters in one. Uh, who'd, have, who'd have guessed it? It's good. Uh, product, production, what was that again? Dark Pit. Dark Pit, okay. Dark Pit. We got a Dark Pit coming in from New England College. We saw it come out into Insignia. I mean, not I much think, to be said. Well, I think that all of New Hampshire, all of our team is going to have an insane like matchup into any pit. Because we play against them so often. Yeah. There are two pits in our region that are both really good. It's, it's yeah, I think Quackers probably has a lot of experience uh, into this. And it's just, it's it's going to be difficult. I think Pit has a somewhat fine matchup 
I think that Squirtle probably just does what Pit does better, but I think that Pit can do a lot if they get the right openings that they need. Yeah, particularly if, if they're able to, you know, catch an aerial on Charizard. A big body like that yeah. is so susceptible to those multi-hits, and you can do so much with that. Just carry or rack up percent or whatever fancy business you, you want to go into off of that. I yeah. think that's what, what New England College is going to be looking for here. It, it's definitely what you want to see. Um, like, when you, when you play Pit into, like, Pokemon Trainer, the only thing you have to worry about is Squirtle, right? But if you can get good Nairs and down throws onto Squirtle, they're going to have to switch off really quick to go to Ivysaur. And then I think it's probably about even. And then you definitely have probably a winning matchup in the Charizard. Yeah. So if they can play... Like, this is probably the least, like, volatile match we've seen today. Like, you had Bowser into all those characters, which I don't think are very good matchups. Uh, and then Sonic also. I think Sonic does decent into Pokemon Trainer. I think that's one of the characters that do well. But I think yeah. that Pit into Pokemon Trainer, that's... It's pretty even. I mean, I, I think that's just because Sonic is just... Good. Sonic is so Sonic has the stats so in his good. favor. Like the, yeah. the the numbers in the code are are good for Sonic. Just yeah, you have an insane forward smash, amazing yeah. hitbox. Your speed is incredible. Your fifty fifties. Your in general yeah. neutral and your burst range are just when, so big. When you are are that fast with that many options in a platform yeah. fighter, you're going to be a good character. Especially because you have like moon jumps with Sonic Ball <laughs> as well, which is like a whole other thing where you can like launch Sonic Ball at like an arc without like using a lot of your resources. So, but regardless, regardless Sonic is in the past. Very close game, nine to eight stocks in favor of New England College now. We got Jam coming in on that dark pit. Just waiting out this initial, the two taunts. Oh, oh. One taunt. Looks like, looks like they're ready right now, but on this stage, I think I'd probably put Pokemon Trainer at an advantage. As you can see, it's just so close. Pit really does better on those bigger stages where they can really just try to pressure. But Pit getting an opening right now might Oh, looks like Caster Curse again. I, I think we should just like stop talking. Whenever whenever we yeah. say something about the game, it, it just ends up completely reversing the flow of the match. It's like right at right as we say it, like tides start to change. But yeah, Quackers is doing an insane job at edge guarding this pit. Pit was sort of hovering there, trying to like bait that they were gonna fastball. Oh the my god, jab the jab lock. It's smash. sick. It's sick, the double jab that, lock into the forward smash. That was crazy, and Quacker's only at 53% right now. This is really good for Pokemon Trainer, but it looks like Pitch get, maybe getting used to this matchup a bit more. Oh, the air dodge came out. Yeah. That's so scary, and an amazing combo coming out for Quacker's right now. Will be so much percent. The Air Ivysaur. coming out from Ivysaur. Ivysaur just keeps snaring off stage, and Pit doesn't snap to ledge, but the Uppy will send them off stage, and Charizard is able to use that extra jump to get a fair, amazing combo. Mwah, chef's kiss. Two Pokemon coming out, uh, coming out with a synergy, getting a huge kill off stage, and now Jam has to take two stocks. I mean, it, it, it's possible. It's definitely possible. Ooh. They Ooh. are able to get back. Amazing switch right there from Quackers. That dash attack, perfect spacing. They're just gonna go for it right now. One jab coming out from Pit, but just yeah. back into another Charizard combo. That back air sweet spot was amazing. Humana, humana, that was nice. Uh, I, I think I think Jam just ended up playing too scared there. Uh, yeah. Jam would get the jabs in and would just stand there staring and, death in the eyes. And, and that's what we mean by Quacker's dominance. Like, they have so <laughs> much dominance in these matches. Like, just, they are the ones that dictate these games, you know. Quacker's is such an amazing player. And for New England College, this is going to be scary. Yeah, that... That's gonna knock the breath out of you. Yeah, you had the momentum and player left. suddenly, I don't know, some, something happened. Some, yeah, some, some, something gummed up the works. I don't know. That but. that was an amazing utility from Sonic and just a vital character on New England College's team. But once that Sonic was gone, it's gonna be a lot harder. Yeah, I mean, 
maybe that was the thing that they were that they were hiding in their back yeah. pocket, just looking to to carry out the game and maybe hoping that they could get insignia with that Sonic boat. Yeah, switch out their characters. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be hard for Manual to do a lot unless they have another trick up their sleeve. I mean that that's always possible too. Yeah. I mean, you know, every every player on our team, I believe, has at least a, a secondary, likely a tertiary. Yeah. Oh, from what we've heard, it's a Pokemon trainer battle? No, it is a Lucario battle. Lucario and, and, battle. And your okay. hero is going. Okay, I thought they were pulling something out of their back pocket. I think this is awful for Lucario. As mentioned before, I'm going to be completely honest with all my opinions. I think Lucario is bad. I think Lucario is one of the worst characters in the game. I mean... They are low tier. They are lower than low tier. You know, in a scene where tier doesn't really matter... The Lucario I think performance like, was not really stunning when it came out last game. I think it's like you have, you have. People say Ganondorf's the worst, but Ganondorf ledge cancels with down B is pretty good. So I'll give Ganondorf like maybe third worst and, character. And I mean, like Ganondorf at bare minimum has insane range. I don't consider Little Mac to be like, bad just because Peanut is is a human being. <laughs> just because Peanut exists, I refuse to put Little Mac like down that far. Yeah. I still think Little Mac's bad. But Peanut does some crazy stuff. I've never seen a man recover with with the worst recovery in the game. Like, how do you how do you even? Uh, and then yeah, I think it's probably worst characters, probably like Lucario or Kirby. Yeah, I think that it's it's one of the two. Yeah, I think that Kirby with gun though is probably like a mid tier. But yeah, Kirby Kirby just needs a projectile and then. And then, Kirby with Joker gun is really good because that combos into back air, which is your only kill move. But other than that, you're a useless character. Yeah. Also, Joker or Kirby with gun is not good into Joker, so that's also a problem. But I, I don't I don't see Lucario doing a lot here. However, I will say it's not as volatile as with Bowser. You will probably get able to a good or a percent, like probably 110-ish. Yeah, absolutely. Unless Insignia rolls out with a Charizard every time. Uh, yeah, there's just going to be a lot more opportunity to get the aura going and cooking. But it looks like a bit of... Oh, do what? they need to SD again? I'm I'm a little a little confused as to what's happening, but it seems it seems we're going. Okay. Okay. Ooh, oh my no. god. Oh, just barely oh, able to make would, it back. That would have been crazy if that if they were able to down air again there. Yeah, I mean Lucario Lucario's just building building aura, building aura, building aura. Uh, I mean, it's just so scary. This match has has been a weird one already and just Cyanado. amazing range on that forward air. But the up B read? That was insane. I, like, you didn't even have time to get that download. You just did it. You just threw it out. <laughs> you got lucky there, bro. Yeah, and, and, the, or, and the aura's reset. That, that's tragic. That, yeah, that is, that's, that's awful for Lucario. Oh, and the up B? Oh, oh, Squirtle does get back. Okay, I thought they didn't snap to ledge. That looked a bit weird. Two yeah. Blue, two blue characters together on a blue background. It's kind of hard to read. Yeah, Pokemon Stadium moment, too, with with uh, how the stage is laid out. You can get stuck under that, on, under the stage here. Chase, chasing so low and able to recover. Might have just saved Cyanato on the recovery. No, nah, um, Lucario has decent air drift. I think they would have been fine. Oh, my God. That, that's just, that's why Lucario's bad. That forward smash, did they hitbox shift? For, that was, that was, that yeah. was, that was a character be bad. That would have been a kill. Yeah, and I mean, this Charizard is, is real scary. Can kill very early and that just smash. punishes the, the upbeat. This, this that upbeat. Right when they get to Aura, they're just immediately dead. It's just so hard to play Lucario right yeah, now. Yeah, and at zero, that, that forward smash is not even going to get close to killing. Reads the counter, too. Gets the grab, waits it out. That, it, Quackers, uh, it's, it looks like they already have the download, but I don't even think they've played enough neutral to figure this out. Like, you jump over that ball, like, what are you doing? Yeah, there's nothing to download. You're just doing, you're just being better. Like, I don't, I don't know what to say. Like, there's no way for you to get the download and you get perfect read three times in a row i mean cyanado like is, cyanado just like I, I don't know i don't know if you if they feel like that's the best option but that that, that, that back there oh yeah, my god just, quackers popped off oh my god cyanado in in two games has has was just not got, recovering safely you got an upbeat jump read without that situation happening 
you got a counter grab read. Like when, like what? And then you jumped over the ball. Like, like you, you had no ability to get a download there. And then you just, you just, you just did it. I mean, three times in a row. Yeah, that that's. They have some secret information that I don't. I mean, I, it. Uh, yeah, I. <laughs> that was that was crazy. Do we want to do we want to check uh, check Quackers switch or something? Yeah, he, yeah like, check, check his controller. Yeah, yeah, no, guys, we need to check the disc. We need to check the disc. What is what has he got? Like the 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 <laughs> Chad mode that like just makes you win. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that was that was insane. Yeah. Hey, uh, I think you're right that Lucario. I mean, we saw it. Lucario yeah. hit a forward smash uh, with no aura, with Charizard at a hundred percent, and it didn't even like remotely click, like no, no, kill spark. He, so, so it, it didn't. That's not what happened. What happened was Lucario's forward smash moves the character forward. So Lucario went in front of Charizard, right, right, the right. massive character, and but, it didn't even hit the forward smash. But but I'm talking about the one that did hit. Oh, the, the yeah, the, the yeah, one that, that did hit right after he lost that stock. Just it did nothing. It, it, it did nothing. It, it did nothing. It did, it did nothing. It, I mean, uh, it's yeah. just it's just hard in that situation. Wait, wait, last for wait. There's another game. Yes. Yes. Keep, keep keep pace. Come on. Wait, but it was Son. But it was Sonic. Oh oh yes. Okay. I'm I'm stupid. I'm uh, dumb. That's 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 why I'm here. Yeah. So all right. It's last okay, buddy. is Marth. We got uh, we got the Marth coming in. Marth, the, I will say, I think has a fine matchup. I think it's better than better than Lucario as a character. So that, <laughs> I mean, that helps. Uh, you you have set yeah. the bar very low. Yeah. It, it's worth noting that that, that bar does not seem very high. Mark uh, is good in the hands of players like Leo, where they're literally like task perfect. But Marth in hands of uh, of us laymans, it's I don't. Marth is still mid tier. Yeah, I mean it's, my my Marth is real bad. Yeah, I can I can tell you that much. Oh, my Lucian is awful. You'd think it'd be good because I play Roy, but no, it's it's awful. But if nothing else, the weight of the world. Now, on the shoulders of his I, Marth. I will say, Marth has some decent zoning on Squirtle, and I think they have probably the worst matchup into Ivysaur. Good into Char... I think they're like... Uh, mm, Charizard kind of outranges, and I'm not sure if Tail has a hitbox on it. Yeah. So I think that I think that it's probably even, but or, mm, probably in Pokemon Trainer's favor just because Marth doesn't have good kill options. Yeah, I mean, you're... unless you can get a crazy side B out where you like side B and then wait a second and then tipper it, like yeah, unless you get some like like I think it's like what it, what is it? It's like a it's like a falling nair one into an up air into a fair into forward smash. I think that's <laughs> I think that's their true kill confirm on ninety percent of the cast. That's so unless you get that. Yeah. Let, let me tell you what. That's a lot of buttons. That that's a lot of buttons coming yeah. out in a, in a sequential order to to rely on. To it's kill. also character dependent, and di dependent. So yeah, that's that's also not can, guaranteed. So what you're saying is that's not particularly consistent. Uh, Martha as a character isn't particularly <laughs> consistent, and that's the problem. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually their problem. Like not 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 like a joke. Like the fact that they can't get tippers like consistently. Like it's it's difficult to to do to do anything. Indeed, I, I would yeah. I would agree with that sentiment. Uh, <laughs> but this is this is New England College's last hope here. So you gotta hope, gotta hope that something crazy happens. Yeah, absolutely. I I yeah. I, I really hope that uh, the remaining New England College players, those those that have fallen. Uh, before Scion are, are really just gassing them up right now. Yeah, th that's what you need in a scenario like this. How do you Ready feel about the big off fair. Oh, I missed it. Never mind. How do you, how do you feel about the uh, the small battlefield pick here? I think that it's fine. I think that it's good for both characters. It's a pretty neutral stage in my opinion. I think Marth does well on the stage just because of plat uh, platform off tilt tippers, uh, forward smashes as well. I think that the, I I would rather. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know. I think it's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Scion getting a lot of damage early, spacing this very, very well, not allowing Quackers to get in. The parry is huge, but is not able to uh, outlast the Dancing Blade. Just really looking for a kill move. <laughs> they are doing a very good job. As I mentioned before, I think Marth can zone out Squirtle really easily. Squirtle's going to have to switch off pretty soon, but an amazing combo might come out right now. And guard. Capitalized, but that... That air dodge was so... Ooh, no oh. punish! 
That was scary. Oh, Marth just barely. Oh, reading the air dodge perfectly. Didn't go for the uppy. Yeah, I, I, I think you gotta go for the uppy there. That, yeah. You know that's not safe. You really, you really have to. That that and, is that is a a Matt Palsy Hamill option. Uh, and and let me tell you what, it's not a good one. That but was amazing, that, and that's what I mean by like Marth's forward air sends a little bit differently. Yeah. So you can get those down smashes on Miss Tex. That's the one good thing about Marth. That's the one thing Martha's has going for them. Yeah, that, that was not a Matt Palsy Hamill option. I, I would not have gone for that. that. That was really solid from Scion. Taking that stock, now Quacker's only with one stock remaining on the Charizard. Uh, Charizard hits like a truck, but is very big. Might be able to uh, zone out a little easier than the- Oh my god. Ooh. That was just so far away. That that was definitely reactable. Both the grab missing, Marth's grab what, huh? This isn't melee, Joe. You're missing for the first time ever. It's still big, though. It's still big in ultimate. I mean, sure, but it, it doesn't reach across the entire stage. Meanwhile, Scion just really playing this very slow, Amazing. steady. Able to grab ledge there through the fire and the flames. It's amazing play from from both players right now. Marth is doing a great job at zoning, and that's really what you have to do versus, you know, Pokemon Trainer. You have to keep them out. You can't let Quackers dictate the game, and that's really what they were best at. Uppy coming out. Oh, Marth was in a really tough situation there. No was punch. able to shield, gets the back throw into back air. Do they get a third one? Nope. Ooh, do they punish off of off of oh. No. That was scary. If that landed into a tipper, Charizard was just dead. Yeah. This is so scary because Charizard can die off of any tipper right now. Yeah, there, there, there's not a, a single thing Marth can do when it's oh, properly no. spaced. Oh, barely doesn't get that up air tipper. Just barely not goes for the flare blitz. The flare blitz hits. Quackers at 171. Oh my God! Goat. Goat. Goat behavior. That is, that is a that is a read into Scion's soul. I, Goat behavior. Yeah. Goat behavior. Quack, Quackers, the bringer of death, saying. You know what? That that was that was the stupidest I, I, option I have ever seen. I, I, to I go can, for I can two hear I can hear Duffy in the prod prod room. All right, Quackers. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna go for flare blitz. Second thing you're gonna do, you're gonna you're gonna go for flare blitz on no. shield, and he's gonna drop it, and if you're gonna you win. Do it once, you do it again. No one expects the second time. Yeah. Well, you know, you know what the crazy thing was? They were expecting it. <laughs> oh, oh, that's insane. That was amazing. All right, that was that was yeah, that was that was goat behavior. That was that was goat behavior. We're gonna get a bit of an interview there. Okay, how did you get three download reads on Lucario without having the uh, the time to download them? So when when it comes down to this level, uh, you could just like kind of notice in certain situations what they do. So usually players will do the same option. And you could just like exploit that. Like, but I you did, didn't have time. The game was like thirty seconds, and that's why I just decided to do it. <laughs> like, if I don't think about it and I just do it, it's gonna work. This is why you're the goat. This hey. is why. This is why you're better than me. Hey. Two flare blitzes. Two. I felt it in my gut. Two. <laughs> I did the first one. I was like, the second one's gonna hit. That, uh, just yeah, that's that's insane. I uh, you just played so dominant in all of the all of the games that you were in. You were you were like a little bit shaky in the Sonic, but then you kind of carried your momentum all the way through this entire squad of New England. You you showed absolute dominance. Up B to read the jump read on the Lucario and also not getting countered, just amazing, immaculate play. Yeah, Lucario's counter was uh. That, that actually kind of threw me off a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. The count, really? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, because I a lot of Lucarios don't really do the counter. So when I got hit by it for the first time, I thought I was gonna die at like 90. Yeah. <laughs> Lu well, Lucario is uh, somewhere on the tier list. Yep. Yeah, that character's. Yeah. I, I don't want to think about that. It's character. a character. <laughs> it's definitely a character. There's a whole two Lucarios in New England. Yeah. That, maybe, maybe. Yeah. No, the the this one. This one. Oh, this one. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Hello. A little bit quiet, but. Yeah, that was just that was just great play from you. You must have felt confident after you dealt with that Sonic. It really, just getting over that demon and just being able to continue this further. It, it was amazing play. Oh yeah, no, that, that was there was a lot of momentum to keep up after the Sonic. Yeah, he he really did like kind of put a, a, a like I, I don't know the word, but he just kind of stopped me. Like yeah, because like I would try like try to land and then he would just like hit me for it, and I was like ah. Oh. 
It's not going the well, way. The hard part to. is it's also on Wi-Fi, which makes Sonic's moves unreactable. Oh, it's yeah. so hard. That's just Nintendo. There's yeah, not much I can do there. <laughs> yeah, that's just that's just Nintendo Corporation. Well, very good hearing from you. Um, thank you for coming for an interview. Uh, we're going to be doing these in the future. Um, and I think that will be all for the broadcast. Is that right. it? Yeah, sounds good. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Nice seeing you guys. Of course. Good seeing you guys. Well, and uh, as mentioned before, I think that's going to be all for the broadcast. I'd like to shout out, though, SNHU Esports on Twitter and on Twitch. We have both A stream and B stream, and we are, I believe, going to be doing the next GSG on the 11th, which there isn't going to be a lot of people because there's a couple majors going on, so it's going to be a more low key tournament. So if anyone who's a bit afraid that they're going to face some of the demons that we usually see at GSG, you don't have to worry about that, and you can come down and have have fun, and enjoy yeah. uh, GSG with everyone else, and I think it's, it's a great time. Uh, we're also going to be running GSGs in the future as usual, and I think that's going to be all for tonight. Yeah. Anything else? Not that I can think of. I'll, I'll just corroborate. Granite State Grind, yeah. it's a great time. Uh, anybody who hasn't gone out of out of, out of of fear of, of the titans uh, in in the scene, just go yeah. out, try it. Just come down. It's a good you time. Know, a lot of players are going to be going to a couple other tournaments, so you definitely have a time to shine in this next GSG. Uh, and everyone have a great time. Have a good one. <laughs> doing an insane job at edge guarding this pit pit was sort of hovering there trying to like bait that they were gonna fastball oh the cap lock. The cap lock. Oh, the it's smash. sick it's much percent the they're coming out from ivysaur ivysaur just keeps snaring off stage and pit doesn't snap to ledge but the uppy will send them off stage and charizard is able to use that x in a row i mean cyanado oh, what cyanado just like I, I don't know. I don't know if you if they feel like that's the best option, but that that, that, that back air. Oh yeah, my god. Just, Quackers popped. And guard capitalized, but that that air dodge was so you no know, oh. punish. That was scary. Oh Marth just barely oh reading the air dodge perfectly. Peace.